Barry and Honey Sherman's daughter has lived in fear for months. 18 months ago, her billionaire parents were killed in their Toronto home. But now she is speaking out because she doesn't want the charity work of her parents to falter. It's an alarming situation and I, have, I feel I do have to be on guard. But that's not going to stop me from doing important work. A bit of background. The Shermans were one of Canada's wealthiest couples. Barry was the founder and former CEO of generic drug giant Apotex. In December 2017, he and his wife were found strangled on the deck of their indoor pool. The crime led to international headlines, dueling police and private investigations, but no arrests, just theories. But as I mentioned, there's not a shred of doubt about the generosity of the Shermans. It is estimated they donated more than $100 million to various causes. And their daughter wants that work to continue. Her name is Alexandra Krawchuk, and she spoke with our Joanna Romiliotis. So, Joanna, can you explain for me, first of all, how, how this interview that you did with her came about in the first place? Well, we met her at the Liberation 75 launch event. And Liberation 75 is a global conference for Holocaust survivors, and it will be held here in Toronto next year. And Honey Sherman was the lead sponsor, the Sherman Foundation was. And Alex, her daughter, is now taken on the mantle, if you will. So she'll be carrying on her parents' legacy. So when we met her there, we wanted to talk to her about that, about the desire to carry on that legacy. We wanted to talk to her about how the family is coping, um, given that, you know, this awful um, tragedy happened and they still have no real answers. So here's a little bit of the interview and what she had to say about that. It's definitely a big struggle. Um, all my siblings and I have been struggling since, you know, for the past 18 months. Um, for me personally, it, it comes in waves and it's unpredictable. I couldn't leave my home for several months because I was too scared. Hmm. And Joanna, did, did she mention anything about the investigation itself? Because that's still the big question mark here. Well, they wouldn't talk. As a family, they haven't spoken about the investigation, and that was certainly a ground rule going into the interview. But it has been reported that the family has hired a private investigator. So there's a parallel investigation going on. Um, they have expressed their dissatisfaction with the lack of answers um, in, in terms of the police investigation going on here in Toronto. So she did speak to that and how that affects their ability not only to process the grief that she talked about earlier, but to kind of find a way past it. And here's a little bit about that. It complicates things, of course, right? I wish we could have uh, an answer so that everyone could sleep a little bit easier at night. And I hope, I still hope and have faith that that will happen, that there will be um, hopefully an arrest and a conviction. I hope that that's the case um, because living in a state of fear and uncertainty is, is really hard. What's the hardest part of it? Um, just not knowing why this would happen to good people who are, you know, lights in their communities, pillars of strength to everybody who knew them. Um, it doesn't make sense to me that, that anyone could harm them. So a lot of hope, but no clear end in sight. No real answers at all. Joanna, thanks. You're welcome.